Pretty high. Dude, I feel so much faster already. I can, I can show you how to. How to I feel do like this. that dude. You know, you know James Hunt. You know who James Hunt is from that movie. Dude? These lenses aren't looking too hot, brother. Well, who needs to see, anyways? You're smaller than me. <laughs> Not after that Sunny's meal. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, my belly's so full. Too good to be true with no Loose program, Crown Victoria training program. Florida's See, finest. Yeah, jet boats, simulator, karting. We got 10 more steps to go. Yeah. Oh, barbecue. That's four actually. Barbecue. Ice yeah. cream. Yeah. Five. I don't know what they look like. We'll make them up as we go. We're gonna fix some motorhomes and shit still. No, that's part of the training. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta fix the shit you break. It's like Mr. Miyagi, paint the fence. Hey, I need you guys to go work on my motorhome. <laughs> Let's see where our lap time stack up though. Rammer, do you have a slow one or what? He passed me on the straight and just like, I was saying yeah. still. Uh, I feel like you need your money. I'm like, <laughs> five races to freaking sunny Zeus. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're in Florida, gotta give it to them. Ron Dog got the fastest lap time. Hey, when you spend hundreds of dollars here, they might hook you up with the better cart too. He so. almost said you were getting the worst cart. And his, that his, was a lie. His straightaway, his oh. straightaway game had a little bit of pep in his step on me, but I mean. Right, hold on. He's My guy sabotaged <laughs> me with the worst cart. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I think you were just telling us that. He was pulling me on the straightaways. I was pacing him, trying to get like right in his draft and shit, and he just be like. That, that's Blake's I think way of saying I had good corner speed. You didn't eat enough, man. <laughs> Should have fed this guy some ice cream too. He didn't uh, eat all his cornbread. Let's go get some. The Bucks are favored by. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what we're up against. Uh, that hurricane that turned into a tropical storm that we've spoken of a bunch has the dirt a little too wet to where one, it's not as safe as we'd like it to, and two, we don't want to just destroy this place really quick. Safety, never heard of her. I just don't want to wash razors for two days. <laughs> oh man, we have so much to do today still with uh, a little bit of travel, a little bit of prep for his daughter's birthday tomorrow, or in two days. 
um, that he's surprising her and all that. This place though, we just got a lay of the land and from his house, it doesn't do justice. From this video, it doesn't do justice. Like the backdrop, the epic trees with all the grass hanging down. This is like his slice of heaven. Like no freaking doubt. We could, we could have fun today. The thing is we'd be cleaning up and paying for it for like a half a day afterwards. Like, and I'm looking at the weather right now. We got four days of very low chance of rain. If we come back here after the mm. Lamolets race, we're gonna be dialed in with perfect dirt. I can literally hop in my skid steer, tidy up just a couple sections that needed. I mean, we didn't get hit that bad. I've seen way worse. So yeah. I think it's a way better decision to prep for the Lamolets now, get down to the Freedom Factory, turn a couple laps in the freaking Crown Vicks. Yep. Um, show up all my razors are dialed ready to ready to go on monday yep like crush mode yeah make sure that's situated for the birthday the, the young one uh, are we growing up and getting responsible dude. nah i don't want to we're not i don't mean known as somebody that dude. was smart and responsible i want to be known to make bad decisions look at this shit. <laughs> it's it's just it's it's as much as we want to thrash, it's probably for the best that we focus our energy and come back to this. But again, you guys saw a little quick lap. So that's what you guys can expect come, come Monday, a little later in uh, or on the next episode, us thrashing the Renner compound, which is still just mind blowing. Like, look at this, dude. Like, look at it. It's fucking sick. I love it. Oh, dude, shit. Take a look at the tires on the oh, Ranger. That's shit. just from riding around on the track yeah. without thrashing. Uh, you can tell it, it would get, I mean, it's so close to being epic, but I'd rather it be epicer, or epicer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, All right. we got shit to do. All right, it's like that. Yeah. yeah See how easily we can get distracted around here? Renner's dry cleaning service right here. Just another business endeavor. Good as new. If we each get laps or something, or we have to pick a driver, how's that gonna work? I think they should do both people, get combined five laps time. and then combine times. What are you doing over there, dude? I'm showing you how the loose program does it. Dude, you gotta get all your stuff super unorganized, so at the last minute, your heart rate gets up before the races even start. Like, scrambling, scatterbrain. So once you get in the car, you're just chilling. I'll be ready. Oh, what? How come I can't add stuff? <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Stoked. Made it. That's half the battle. <laughs> we made it. Now we just gotta make it around the course. In first. Not last. If you haven't noticed my operation, if I make it here on time, I'm freaking halfway to the freaking victory lane, baby. Yeah. I'm always late too, so we got that going in our favor, right Cameron? Hell yeah. <laughs> Back again, dude. How are you liking the Florida? Oh, Florida it's life. nice. I love it, dude. Ronnie has been showing me around. I've seen you guys, we're going through some little... Yeah, backwater shit. Yeah. Oh. Should we go see what Ho-Dunk car we got? Probably a Crown Vic. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, dude. Hopefully, it's a good possibility. What's up, boys? Are you guys still doing any testing or what? No, man. We, we, it's going good. I thought I was still sick. Dude, we're, uh, all the transponders are in and working. Damn. They're lined up for qualifying tomorrow. Fuck. So, uh, did they, uh, some boys get some testing today? Um, no, nothing like, I mean, the testing of the vehicles, but none of the drivers tested them, only like- Oh, the yeah. yeah, we can't give these guys an advantage over you guys. You guys have been doing some like team bonding over the last day. Oh, Y'all no been in the idea. boats and shit. Yeah. Been sleeping in bunk beds together dude, and shit. Dude, you guys, and you Super had the El Camino awesome. out. That's the like- damn internet, dude, has ruined our program. Next year, everybody's gonna be onto it. They're gonna be in mini boats, simulators, freaking go-karts. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What a shame. People boats. wanna be like you guys, you know? Our rhythm got thrown off a little. My track's a little muddy, so we couldn't ride 
red razors today. Oh, damn. So that might take us down a tenth or so uh, off the track. We got <laughs> still to exercise moving jet skis around, though. Oh, dude, yeah, you guys point. had a chill, yeah. relaxed, like, low impact day. That could be the key ingredient. Yeah. History. Yeah, your forearms are fucking jacked and ready from the boat. We brought yeah. two drivers to drive the Caminos home. Oh, <laughs> damn, that's true. Yeah, we should Damn, go. you guys are ready. I saw you had the El Camino out. I was like, oh, dude, he must be sitting in, like, the, oh, this is what victory's gonna taste like. I know this feeling. <laughs> It was very similar. I was conceived in one. I heard, dude. Rumor had it. Couldn't find your car? Oh, yeah. Hey, you Ronnie, dude. It's right there. If you were boogie, you would have pissed on that tire. Get a little paint scheme going. Does it smell like piss from all the condoms? Oh, that, that must be an older dog, dude. She's rusty. Bond. I mean, Renner. What's up? <laughs> So we got a different gearing, maybe? Uh, Was I over here in some, some goodness do. here? Some do. some do. We need a sawzall to cut our fucking exhaust off. We need some tools to take our fucking seats out. Pipe wrench, blowtorch. We need a, a fucking wire strippers for Duct that tape. fucking that impact button. Demo team Dude, over don't here. Don't you guys be we're, scheming up some plan? We're, we're gonna take about out totaling our spare... their Crown Vic before they even go out. No, Duct tape, zip ties. What are you, yeah, what are you doing? We're gonna bash in the fender so they're fucking stronger on impact when we fucking smash. I don't know if that's <laughs> science. <laughs> That's science. I mean, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> science. I'm skeptical. Science, dude. Yo, those heat waves are fresh. Oh, oh these are their gold ones. Yeah. Look, I got a pube right there. Who the fuck? So this is your second time here, right? And it second is. time racing. I'm excited. That's why I let him go first, because I already had the 500 yeah, dude. under my belt. When are you going to so. show up and mow the lawn? Like, you just come here on the best days ever out of Put the year. Put me in your tractor, man. We got some time. Last time it's I was mode. in and out in like like 20 hours. Flew here, raced. I, I got here like an, half an hour before middle of Corona, one dude on your flight, pretty much. <laughs> Telling you right nice. now, if you put them in a tractor, you might as well consider the win ours 100%, because that'll be every vehicle possible been driven in the last two days. There you go. She's going to be so We've in touch with... Training, dude. dude, the funny so thing is... So in touch is, with Mother Nature. I, I give this guy, like, major credit, because Freedom 500 was the worst week ever, and all these drivers were backing out on me, and I'm like, surely the guy who is by far the farthest away in California is not gonna show up. Look, he's like, nah, dude, I'm on a plane, bro. Like, just shows yeah. up right before the race, and runs it. Literally. Came through, dude. 30 minutes before we were drawing cards. Respect. Peter, what do you got growing in that freaking beard? That thing's intimidating the shit out of me. That's why I did it. God. I knew I'd scare you. I, I was trying to catch up, but this is like four months of progress. I don't know. <laughs> I knew I'd scare Renner when he walked off. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop, man. Eh? Don't worry. This bad boy right here, I know it don't look like much, but it's going to be the meanest handlebar stash you've ever seen. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm freaking oh, might have to stop by the cosmetic store and get some uh, eyeliner or something, darken it up a little.
getting some insight from some of the the setup men here at the Freedom Factory, and we just got word that our car is tight. And right. Hey, don't tell the people that in case we happen to suck. You know what? That's not even an option. So that just means that we have a very competitive advantage. Even though the whole undercarriage is completely rusted to shit from what I've seen, um, doesn't mean she still ain't tight. Doesn't mean she still ain't tight. See, that means it was an up north car. It was getting all that salt on the roads. So a lot of the weight shaved off, it's fell off. So we're good with that. And not a lot of humidity in the engine to corrode the engine. So we got a nice, tight, clean engine inside. Oh, nice and tight. Nice and right. Nice, tight, oh. and clean. Mm. Oh. Way down yonder on the with the coochie. See that fucking monster truck? Yeah, hell yeah, brother. I'll tell yeah. you what. Come on, girl. Come on, Room 357, dude, we're fucking in the Thanks game right now. Did you it? TK just gave hey, don't us. Don't forget your um, water. You can leave the red cup there. TK just gave us a winning fucking number. Uh, Daddy's home. I was ready to freaking do some Rambo shit. Oh. What else? We got a pretty heavy, strategically planned out game plan for this morning to come into qualifying in this race fully prepared. We've done our homework. We've, we've had substantial training in Revan's racing. I've got my necessary 20 hours of sleep. I feel like strong. <laughs> More like four, but. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I just carved in this luscious light trash stash here. So it's gonna and definitely drop our lap times. I'm gonna say half a second. Um, I get serious on race day. It's not going to be all fun and games. A lot of intimidation tactics going to go down. Uh, did it get you? Fuck. Uh, I was, yeah. Alright. Turn around and look at his face. Oh, with the awesome goatee? <laughs> you should have left the center a little bit more. Get back to the truck. We got some Octane Booster. We had to get zip ties. We had to get a tire changing uh, T-wrench. That way we can come into the pits. We had to get his lunch, lunch for the crew. Salami. Blake loves a big salami. <laughs> I think we got an assortment. We got tie downs because we're gonna maybe load the car um, in different areas, the suspension, to try and get the car to be squatted and settled and not have a whole lot of body roll. So let's not forget about our offensive um, plan. Yeah. 
Donkey Kong, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have some fucking bananas thrown at people. He's Renner's got 10, I got 10. So in total, there's gonna be 20 spots on the track that are gonna be slick as shit. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna be able to eat all the bananas, so we're, we're gonna probably have two different bombs. We're gonna have the peel, and then we're gonna have the core. So, Dude, it's a win -win. we have we, four. If we're out there and it's like halfway in the race, you start cramping, you got freaking potassium right there. <laughs> or you got slicks. It's win-win, dude. Yeah, so, enough with our strategy. Let's get to the track. Fucking go! I can just feel the anticipation of all this prep and all this training is gonna come to fruition today and we're gonna have a damn good day. We didn't do all this for nothing. We didn't come here to not win. We came, race day! We came here yeah! with a man, with a plan, and this fucking look. Oh. Yeah! What you gonna do? We're ready for this! Shredding and loose program! Double on you! Yeah! Double seven! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Weight reduction. Good call. Take that out when it's time. Hey, bro, don't play with me, bro. For real. No, dude, you're good. Like, really All right, cool. I trust you. You're good. He's just like a spider. Down. <laughs> Ooh. It's getting fucking real right now, dude. Drivers meeting, and then we're going straight to qualifying after this. Uh, we get a little time to make some of those adjustments we were talking about to our cars. Juan uh, Gibb Jr. is doing his camera and caster. I really hope that doesn't come into play after the fact for the race. You never know. I think it puts a target on his back. Yeah. But uh, everyone's here, and it's getting real. Ronnie just showed up. Ronnie Mac, he's got to be hot as shit in his outfit. He better stay hydrated. Look at that. Yeah, fuck, whatever. I was so, I was so drunk last night. <laughs> yeah. drunk. No clue. Like, I puked on the way home. <laughs> typical, typical Ron and Mac fashion. But hey, you know what? You puked and rallied, dude. You're here. I'm just happy my teammate showed up. You're I was really worried there for a little bit. I talked to him like two days ago and he was like, yeah, well shit, if the race is Saturday, I'll get a flight home tomorrow. He's in LA still. <laughs> Oh my god, oh shit, I hope. Hope you make it. Cat drug in. I know. You see this car? You get jealous real quick. Where's your knobbies at? 69. Uh, we go with getting real, dude. Yee -yee. <laughs> Brother, our dad, he's right here. Shut up, son. Uh, Thank yeah. you for all these people. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, dude. Comments. Can I pull those pants down, bend you over my knee, and spank your butt? I know that sounds kinky to you, but it's gonna be a lesson. How's it looking? It's looking good. We got some shit going down. Our tires were all loose, so yeah. glad we bought this bad boy for fucking 15 bucks. Man, of you to hit another driver. <laughs> we're taking all this weight out. Five pounds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Looking good. Get that shit out of there. This thing looked like a goddamn, like the, the fastest, lightest car on the track. From the time we started till now, it's been a few hours, but I'm confident in our car. I don't think anybody has a better car than us. Yeah, dude, look at what you took out. This is all you. Hey, 1320 guys, I don't care what anyone says about them, they're fucking rad. <laughs> now, actually, uh, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This is a good little montage. We met up in uh, Doha, <laughs> yeah, in Qatar with Muhammad and those guys and he got to rip in the OG bug with me 
and we were barking some wheelies, launching down hills. Oh yeah. That was fun, huh? That, that was your first sick. time in one of those? That was my first time doing wheelies downhill. I've been in some sand buggies, but nothing like that. Just fucking full clutch yeah. dump. Yeah. That was wild. Sick. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck to you, man. I gotta return some tools, and then we're gonna we're gonna unwind this beautiful afternoon, and we're going racing. You wanna buy? I'll get a bite. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Not gonna meet in the middle. We don't want people getting turned on and shit before the race. They'll get weird out there. <laughs> How do we kill there? There we go. Do we really need it on the freaking... Okay, just go drive this bitch into the fucking number one position. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that top spot, baby. Fuck, I don't know if we wanted it, but... We're taking it. We're taking it. Hey, does that mean we get some bonus points? So we're sitting fifth place right now. Uh, we're looking really good. Uh, he's giving, he's gonna give me a very good car. The front four in front of him are running away with it and they're making a lot of noise with their tires and they're pushing their cars hard to where I don't think their tires are gonna hold up to the end of the race where I'm gonna be able to drive our car really hard. Everyone behind him, um, they can't keep up with his pace. So he's in the most ideal position in fifth place that we could ask for right now. So we had such a mess. We're fixing up a couple cars. It's giving us some time to clean up a big mess on turn one and two. We're doing the driver change right now. Drivers, head out to your drivers. All right, Chris, switch let's go. it up. Oh Take my God, up. we gotta find out. We gotta find Bowman. Hey, Lake's under here. Yo, no shot. <laughs> not a chance. You can't do it? No, no way. Brother, why not? You cannot be tired. We brought That's an cool. unfair performance advantage. No way. You have a NASCAR driver. I know, but you we can't change tires. Okay. No, the rest of the field isn't changing tires. All right. Oh, that was freaking awesome. Like I did, I was hoping for that green white checkers. I really wanted to actually push a couple laps, but at the same time, I was relieved because I got it in here in one piece of Wilkie on the second row. Didn't do him dirty like he did me and put me on the front with a NASCAR driver behind. I was freaking nervous as crap. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, I don't know how hard to push this thing. I'm really out of my element. And you did great. I faded back a lot worse than I wanted right at the beginning. No, but, but you held it. I think it, that though. was what I needed to do. Hell in yeah. Retrospect. So, gotta love. I'll make sure we're on our A game here, and he's all buckled in. And Where's the headset? Right down here on the ground. 
Side man one pipe, like, oh shit. I hit the wall. <laughs> dude, my dude. collarbones are so fucked up, it hurts right, right now. now. Cheating a little bit. Cheating a little bit? Just a little bit. Right here, yeah. Right. <laughs> I hit the wall, I was like, Dude, I bit my frame on my client to get oh, a new one. Yeah. Hey, You're looking uh, a little squirrely out there. Oh, fuck, way squirrely. <laughs> so squirrely. I felt like I was at least passing some dudes, though, but fuck. Yeah. It was I definitely... I could definitely feel my nuts up in my chest the whole time. <laughs> What'd you guys change? Why you got a jack out? <laughs> Oh, my God.
Yeah, by feet. Go clean the old camino. Let's see a burnout. Woo! Hey! On the podium? Hey, you got the ball! Tough break, dude. It happens. We've all been there. I'm sorry, but you're good. Cheaters. Second place. No Caminos. <laughs> Should have took them out the corner before. I want to watch the replay. I don't know how those guys kept getting in front of us. I really don't. I never recall them passing us back and Blake passed them with gas. And I swear it was on the restarts. They were doing some debauchery. They were jumping restarts hard. Hell yeah, we gotta do it again! Oh, sick, dude. I can't believe we finished. Nice <laughs> job. Dude, that was epic. Hold up, step it. Dude, Dude, that was so sick. I knew you guys were out there. First losers. <laughs> hey, I got an El Camino at home. Screw it. Let's go drive that bitch around. Had nicer than those. Had I known that, I would have fucking drove a little bit different race yeah. in there, dude. I am so bummed. They weren't giving as much updates on time. It was like, that white flag came and it was like, drop the hammer. Ugh. I'm pissed. I'm so bummed right now. Yeah. Think about how much... By 1,000. Hey, no, his transponder was backwards on his car. Yeah. <laughs> but he was backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, have a little bit of a flat, but good brakes though on this side. I crossed the finish with a flat radiator leaking brake and gear oil on the opposite side of the car. So you know, if I had a good car all the way through, homeboy would have never had a chance. Still didn't stop once. Still didn't stop. Crown Vicks, these things are magical. Good girl. You did good, girl. Hey. Hey, Spence. He said he'd give me the Camaro if I drive it home. I'm driving that bitch home, dog. Bro. I'm taking it. That's I ain't so gonna lose sick. that little backward bullshit finish. <laughs> Are we actually fucking driving home? We're, yeah, we're driving it home. Good drift car, man. Yep. Dude, make it a good drift car. I, dude, she's driving home with me, dude. Yeah, that's The keys are in it. I'm just fucking taking it right now. <laughs> tonight. We're starting tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, if you didn't see me out there, I was backing that bitch in, dude. He said he's down. I'm down. If you guys want to take her, dude, she's all fucking yours. Are you serious? As long as I'm going to drive the buggy when I come to Glamis. You got a deal. All right. Is that a deal? Lock it in. Out there. Yeah! It's on video. Backwards win bullshit. Oh, we got the Camaro. Who wants to fucking drag race, brother? Where are those El Caminos at? <laughs> well, I want to get back to Cali. Hey, we'll make it, dude. I will not let you down. I don't know, dude. Welcome to the Freedom Factory where you can be as free as you want. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Freedom. Y'all asked for it. Bald Eagles don't usually fly at night, but they do here. <laughs> I cannot believe the heart and soul that went into this race. I literally worked my ass off, got second, and am so thankful for everyone here. This 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 group of people here in Florida at the Freedom Factory are just uh, hands down the most rad, humbling, awesome people that, I mean, they just, I've only met them one other time and then coming back to after the Freedom 500 for this Lamolette 2.4, it was, uh, felt like I was with friends that I could call lifelong friends and uh, man, it's just, it's just a vibe and motorsports, it's crazy how motorsports can bring people together like this and just put smiles on so many people's faces and I hope everyone enjoyed this edit um, and we appreciate everyone that was rooting us on and uh, we got much more adventures in store on this Florida trip but hats off to you guys thank you Garrett and uh, everyone else involved man I'm still on cloud nine and no matter how we finished 
Even if we finished dead last, I still would have been just as stoked. But the fact that we're driving back to San Diego in a Camaro with skinnies on the front and fatties in the rear and an LS and no AC. Oh man, I can't remember. I don't know how I let you, how I talked you into that one, but we're going for it, dog. You didn't make it past the van. <laughs> that, that, that van was a little tougher than it looked. I feel like your front, your like front tire, big thing, big things come in small been, packages. It sometimes. Over, it have your, your, your front driver side, so you hit the engine block. Yes, that's what happened. And the and back it just, of it was crushed. If, if the engine was on the other side, I think it would have been okay. I almost feel yeah. like if your passenger it, tire would have hit the van, it would have been fine. But your passenger side missed. Never the van even hit it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I was a little scared, not thinking properly at the time that if I came down and I got high centered on it, so I said I should probably floor it. <laughs> Usually when in doubt you gas it out. I, I, that's what I did. Well, that's an old motocrosser rule. When in doubt throttle out. Yeah. It saved my life many times. Yeah. Almost took it last night. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I probably would have, you would have been the first of the three guys in there I would have given mouth to mouth to. Yeah, you're, on that video, you're like, let's go, we gotta go is get that, it. Is that homo or is that just a friend? Not at all, no, that's, dude. That's, that's life changing, saving. <laughs> yeah, I might just drown today. Accident. 